Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee's YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. Today we're going to talk about open feeding. The do's, the don'ts, the whys, and uh, we'll just go from there. Uh, I mean, if you got the why is time. If you've got a couple hundred hives, you can't hardly hive top feed every day. This takes too much time. Um, the drawbacks of uh, open feeding is if it's not done right, it will cause robbing and it drowns bees. Well, that's the main thing we're talking about today. We're going to, uh, I've, I've evolved. I started out with straw like the old timers did in, in a barrel or a tote, and it, it drowns quite a few bees. It's pretty, it gets nasty. Then I went to the uh, bathtub mats last year, had a lot better luck with them, but still wasn't happy. Still drowning more bees than I would like. And I got a buddy, Jason Braggs, he come up with uh, pool noodles, uh, a little old round styrofoam things, I'll show them to you here in a minute, that you buy at the Dollar General for a dollar. And he was cutting them in half long ways and laying them in the totes and having good luck with it. Well, I tried that and evidently my tote was the wrong size and it, they wasn't getting uh, enough space between the, the lines to get the feed. So I, I do, I done a quarter inch spacer between them and I've been feeding this tub for three weeks now and I'll pull the lid off of it and get you up there closer. Haven't cleaned it out and there's basically maybe a half a cup of dead bees in three weeks. Let me get you zoom out just a little bit. I'm trying not to take this off the tripod. But a quarter inch spacing, it's worked real well. Now I'm going to show you the design that I come up with after doing that to see that if it worked. Basically, you just got to lay them in there like that, and I cut other pieces of styrofoam off and glued them like that. You can see how that just spaces them out and it really works well. So far three weeks it hasn't uh, grounded any bees to mount anything and I like it because even with the spacers that I cut in there they I could just reach in there and pull a five gallon bucket in there and, and the spacer stayed where they was at. Uh, now to get to the do's. When you feed, open feed bees, you gotta do a one or two things. You either gotta have it out of the side of, line of sight of your hives, or it's gotta be at least 100 yards away from your hives. Because if you don't, you'll cause robbing. And what I've been told about that is if it's close and the bees can see it in the yard, a bee will come back and do a half waggle dance, tell them where the food's at, just a half a waggle dance. I give uh, uh, direction and, and not the distance. And then they go out there and it's in your yard and then they start sniffing around other boxes and, and start robbing. If you, you can feed, I'm 50 foot from my bee yard, but I'm on the other side of the house and they can't see it from there so they got to do a full waggle dance they got to go in there and tell them the direction and how far and that they got it here they got to come up over my house and then come back down to it and uh, it works really well that way and commercial guys always have a big big commercial guys got you know 2500 3000 hives and when they got open feed and I, ha I was helping one back in the spring and he said man i wish i had a way to open feed without drowning bees he said i've tried everything and 
when he feeds he feeds them 55 gallon drums and when the barrel's empty he'll have six eight inches of dead bees in the bottom of the barrel so I took this design a little bit further if you see that I just made that for him that fits in a 55 gallon drum I got a couple of it spaced too far I'm gonna have to cut it and re-glue it back together but it holds up decent I'm gonna get some of that webbing for lawn chair and glue on the back of this to make it rigid but you could do that for any size container a five gallon bucket 55 gallon drum it, but the main reason is it saves time you, do, you just can't feed mass amount of hives on hive top feeders it just, you, you just can't do it but like I say I, I try to keep you informed when I come up with something better and the mats work better than the straw and this works the best of anything that I found I think I'm gonna stick with this it's, like I say three weeks in there and a half a cup of bees and three weeks of feeding uh, pretty minimal maybe that many die every day anyway or more than that die every day in this yard so share the videos if you with uh, your facebook friends and and other other beekeepers try to teach what i can and if you like the videos hit the subscribe button the bell next to it get notified when we put out more videos you guys have a, ha a happy and safe fourth of july thanks for watching